hi hi everybody welcome to my channel and today i'm going to tell you six tips to avoid procrastination we have always that bad habit to leave everything for later even the things that are important so we need to stop push everything away to avoid activities or things that we really need to do so i'm going to give you six tips that are going to help you to avoid procrastinating first tip awareness you need to understand why you procrastinate you can come up with an effective solution if you don't really understand the root of the problem as with most problems awareness and self-knowledge are the key to figuring out how to stop procrastinating so we really need to understand why we are procrastinating why we always avoid to do certain activities and sometimes we kind of like have kind of of disorder in our day we have so many things to do but we don't know from where it starts and it happened to everybody but there are certain habits that you have to take or adopt in order to avoid procrastinate i hope that you really check yourself and sit down and accept that you are procrastinating certain activities so you you can be active and make change in your life second tip time management techniques to overcome procrastination, time management techniques and tools are indispensable. And not all methods of managing time are equally helpful in dealing with procrastination. There are sometimes management techniques that there are well suited to overcoming procrastination and others that can make it worse. Those that reduce anxiety and fear and emphasize the satisfaction and rewards of completing tasks was the best those that are inflexible emphasize the magnitude of tasks and increase anxiety can actually increase procrastination instead set reasonable goals break big tasks down and give yourself flexibility and a lot time to things you enjoy as rewards for work complete for you manage your time something really good that is going to help you is to create a list you want to write what are all the activities that you need to do you need to go to the grocery store you need to go to the gym you need to go to to the college you need to go to work you need to have things done at the house so all those things you have to write them and figure it out what things you're gonna do first you have to check what things you have prioritized once you have all this pool of ideas or things that you had to do and you know what are the prioritized things and the other things that you can probably do in any moment then you can create a little scale create a schedule for all your activities daily or even weekly it's going to help you to manage your time you are going to have enough time to do anything and something important is that you need to know what activities are negotiable and are non-negotiable like for example if you need to go to the gym that is non-negotiable you need to really create the habit that you had to go to the gym and you put in your schedule a certain time to go to the gym and you cannot change that because you know you're gonna broke the habit to do exercise so there is some things that are not negotiable other thing is like if you need fits your closet this is something negotiable that probably you don't want to do right that day but you can do in the week it's great to do a schedule because give you the ability first to manage your time to organize the things in a way that you prioritizing the things that are important that cannot be changed that had to be done and schedule the other things during the week that yeah, you can kind of move and it's going to give you flexibility you don't want to feel overwhelmed that you had to do a lot of things so that is important make a list if you make a list if you do a schedule you are going to have successful in manage your time even you to have free time to enjoy the things that you love next point is motivation finding producing resources for engaging tasks and you have fears know what do you like to do and in order to 
of that create activities so you're gonna build engage because if you do activities that you feel bored then you kind of like you're never going to do those tasks it's gonna it's gonna be impossible you really don't even want to sit then on talking or think about it so to overcome procrastination it is critical that you stay motivated for productive reasons i mean reasons for learning and achieving that lead to positive productive and satisfying feelings and actions right so because if you are motivated you are going to do the activities with all your knowledge and all your art because you want to do it's something that you really enjoy to do these reasons are in contrast to engaging a task out of fear of failing or not looking stupid or doing better than other people to show off while these are some reasons for doing something they are not productive since they evoke negative feelings and actions for example if you are concerned to not looking dumb you may not ask questions delve into new areas try new methods or take the risks necessary to learn new things and reach new heights a good way to put positive motives in motion is to set and focus on your reasons and your goals. Other people's goals for you aren't your goals, but obligations. This brings me to the next point. Be active engage another key to overcome procrastination is to stay actively engaged if you are passive you will not engage with the activities and that weakness your motivation nonsense and confused are not engaging in fact they are boring and frustrating we often don't want to do things that are boring or frustrating prevent that by aiming to really understand seeking out what is really interesting and relevant to you setting your own purpose for every activity asking yourself about what are you learning we need to set up goals with everything that we do we had to play small goals all these small goals all these activities that we do daily it's going to bring us closer and closer to our big goal and in that way we are going to keep engaged with our activities we're going to keep motivated we are going to be more proactive and multitask if we choose and do activities that we don't enjoy it is the probability that you are going to put away those activities and then is when we are going to start procrastinating set goals always we're going to be engaged with all our activities and we are going to enjoy our journey this bring me to the next point creating habits to boost your effect effectiveness and prevent you from drawing your energy by overthinking you have to create habits if we create a habit it's going to be easy for us to do that certain activities daily for example create a habit to exercise daily that is important that we create a habit it's something that we want to do and we enjoy to do and we are going to schedule in our list the activities that we have to do create a habit of eat healthy how you can keep it healthy how you can manage your time to make possible that you can keep eating healthy you can choose a day where you prepare your meals for the week so you're gonna have enough food during the week and you're gonna have your meal that you don't have the necessity to buy fast food or to to eat things that are no great for your diet another habit that is pretty important is going to help you to manage your time go to bed early if you go to bed early the next day is going to be longer because you are going to wake up early you're going to have enough time to do all the activities that you need to do it's going to help you to manage your time and that way you are going to avoid procrastination another habit be organized and write all the activities that you need to do in order to manage your time and know what things you're gonna need to prioritize and what things you don't need to prioritize 
prioritize and organize them during your week. In that way, you are going to be successful to avoid procrastination. For example, for exercise, you have to decide in advance what days you're going to exercise. For example, in my case, I always organize what days I going to wear legs, glutes, or upper body, or abs, or core, and I also organize what exercise I going to do. I don't get to the gym and I was like, oh, what are I going to do? No, I already have everything I had done in my head. So I go prepare to the gym and I have a, a plan to work out. And it's important that we always create plans, small plans for any activity. So we are going to manage our time. We are going to focus in what are our goal in that activity. It's really important. It is usually the small things that matter the most. For example, also sometimes we need to uh, organize our closet or organize the house and organize certain things in the house. And we always avoid, we pass, but we don't want even look because we know that we need to do certain activities. And it's important that you sit down and know, have the knowledge that you are procrastinating certain activities and then you sit down and make a schedule at least and put those activities in that schedule so you are first avoid procrastinating you are going to do all the activities that you need to do you're gonna be more efficient you're gonna learn to manage your time you're going to have time to enjoy yourself so this is really important and you're also gonna create habits like for example some people Sundays they clean the house they do laundry kind of like this put some certain activities in the week that you know that you have to do there that is going to help manage your time your activities and you are going to get some free time for yourself and do the activities that you love like you sit down outside and enjoy the sunset or go for shopping or anything that you like to do if you do this list and if you already know and plan what are you going to do during your day is going to help you reduce the number of decisions you had to make during the day it will free up the energy you will need in order to stay focused on doing the, the big meaningful stuff it's because it's important to, to prioritize certain activities and you know that you have to do those activities doesn't matter what happened and the other activities that are flexible and you can put in today or probably tomorrow but for sure during that week because if not you are going to fall in procrastinating it's because it's important to plan in your day in advance and something that i like to do always is like when i go to bed when i lay down in bed i'm thinking and i go over my whole next day and i know what activities i'm going to do at morning in the afternoon and night so that way i can reprogram myself to know and give me knowledge what is coming the next day and it's gonna to be easy to help me to manage my time and for sure avoid procrastination with all these points that i give you today i hope that you get them and put in in practice in your life so you can avoid procrastination and you can have more effectiveness focus more energy happiness in your life because you can manage your time you are more proactive in your activities and you can find some time to enjoy yourself so i hope that you like the video guys don't forget subscribe if you're not subscribed yet subscribe also thank you all of you for checking my other platforms instagram tiktok on my facebook page to everything you found in the link in the top and thank you guys also i'm going to show you some clothes that i get in amazon i hope that you like them and let's go see this so today i have some bikinis that i got on amazon and run shop but before i want to tell you guys thank you all of you to check my storefront where i posted my favorite outfits and clothes and items from amazon we're going to see these bikinis that i purchased on amazon and run shop 
is yellow. There we go. Oh, I told you lately that I found that yellow is my color. It's really pretty. Pretty, really pretty. So we will see how I look with this. I love the color a lot. This one is for round shop too. Oh, it has some uh, designs, flowers. <laughs> Literally everything is in flowers. So this is the. Uh, it's kind of long. I mean, yeah, it looks long. Watch how that it gets. Good. All right. So this is for round shop too. These are from Amazon. Ooh. I like the color too. Black and white. All right. I'm going to try this. The top. Uh, it's kind of cool. I like the color. So this is from Amazon. Oh my. Oh. Oh, we open. It's close. It's close. Either, either way. Oh no. Ooh. It looks like a Wonder Woman. She used the American flag colors, I think. All right, so I'm going to put it on. Oh, something to put on to the bikini. It's really nice. It has the American flag too, like the colors. So I hope, guys, that you are ready. Have in mind what is your favorite. Do you know what is my favorite? Because I told you that lately, yellow color is my color. Yes, we are going to see this bikini. We are going to put in all. This is the first bikini. I like a lot the color. I don't have anything this blue color. And also, I love the fabric. It's really soft. It's a blue. The material is kind of really soft. Look at the design. It has some flowers. And in the back, it's kind of like it's a little gets inside the back. So the material is really, really soft. I really like the material. They have different colors also, but I definitely like this blue. Tell me, guys, if you like this bikini. Um, I really like the color a lot. Have for tying the top and tying the button too. And in the back is a little higher here. The, the, the button. I think that I really love the color a lot. It's, the fabric is really soft. It's really soft. I try to put it out, but it gets inside of my butt. I have been trying to get some lately, but I need color, I know. I hope that you like this one. This is the first one. Let me know in the comments if you like this blue one. Really soft, really super, super soft. They have also this in different other colors, but I like this blue one. It's for time in the size, so you can see that. Walking, walking, checking, and there we go. We are going to see the nest bikini. This is the nest bikini, and I really love the color. It's white and black, and it has the like a United States flag. I really like the fabric too. Look at the design in the butt, it's uh, really nice. Now you saw the design, the design is the American flag. This one and the blue one have kind of the same material but they are from different stores. The blue one is from Ron Shop and this is from Amazon. Also it's high in the top. Like you saw the panty is high in the top. I have been using some that are really like lower here but this is high in the top. And also cover good your glutes. So I really, I found this kind of nice. It covers more heat. It's really thick, so it covers pretty good. It gets pretty good your waist here. It's different to the others. I hope that you like the swimsuit, you call it swimsuit, uh, bikini. I hope that you like this, this bikini. I really like a lot. And 
in the back we are going to walk there all right you let me know what is your favorite oh 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 let's go see the next one all right so this is the next outfit and it is the american flag it kind of cover pretty good also the material is really really thick and also it have a cover like a, you have a little cover there so it's it's it, it's pretty good in the top now i have a little something here in the middle for tie right and also it comes in the top to to tie in the top and also in the back right there and the button is really high to you can see that the button is really high i really like how it holds the booty like it gets really good the booty and in the size how this for tie you button too it's the same design to the other one it's kind of really safe the bikini gets pretty good here so it's kind of safe but it had the colors for the flag of United States and I really love it and in the back you can see that there I really love the way that it looks and the fabric is really soft we are going to see how it looks right there let me know in the comments what is your favorite bikini i almost forgot i got this too so hold on this is something that you use tie around your waist it's like a for cover if you are walking in the beach or something that you want like feel more comfortable and cover it a little bit you just use this and there we go you cover there a little bit it's opening in the other side and i feel like this kind of like really uh, oh like a style hawaii style this also you found it in amazon it is pretty big and also you can do it like really big there you saw all right any way that you want to use this it's okay let's go see the last bikini all right so this is the last bikini and i really love it so voila it's a yellow color and it's pretty pretty nice i love the way that it gets in the booty uh i think that it is perfect because it don't get in the middle i mean i like use something in the middle when i get some but this is kind of go for go to the beach and uh, go to swimming and look at the and also the top is comfort tight in in the back the fabric is pretty good it's really comfortable you said i have some lines there they have a little design in the top it comes here to you tie the bikini in the sides i how that you like this bikini the fabric is soft and it's really thick so it covers pretty good uh, your uh, booty and also in the top too I hope that you like this one. Let me know in the comments if you like this bikini. I really love it. Look for let's let's look. I really love the color. That no, they have another colors. I think that this is for our own shop. I will see if I can put the links in the description below for this video. Uh, you can check also in my storefront who you can find in there. I'm going to see if I can put in there. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite. I hope that you like these bikinis. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite. Definitely, I love the yellow color. If you don't subscribe, subscribe. And don't forget comment and like the video. Until the next video, bye bye!